Jessica Hicks and I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, I am a corporate recruiter and I talk about jobs. Everything from job tips for getting that next job to companies that are hiring right now. And in this video, I am going to be providing a really quick tip for job seekers. So if you're on the job search, you'll definitely want to keep watching. So here's a tip for my job seekers. If you're looking for a job right now, I want you to make sure that you're not procrastinating when it comes to putting in your application. I know that I have done this in the past, many others will as well, where you wait and you think that you need to maybe edit your resume more or you'll do it later. I'm here to tell you to definitely not procrastinate when you see a job opportunity that you meet the qualifications for and you're interested in because you want to be among those first couple of job applicants. Why? Well, the first couple of job applicants have the greatest chance of being seen by the recruiter or the hiring manager. Now, I have definitely been there. I have seen job opportunities that seemed great. And then I went, okay, I'm gonna apply to that later. And then by the time like next week came around, the job was no longer posted anymore or you know once i applied really they were at the place where they had a couple applicants that were really strong and they moved forward with those applicants well i'm here to tell you to not procrastinate as soon as you see a job opportunity that you fit the qualifications for and you're interested in please 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 apply immediately unless you need major work done to your resume or you know someone that works at the company that can refer you. And I would still say, reach out to them quickly and have them refer you really quickly. <laughs> um, and you would still wanna apply anyway. So the reason for this is like, why am I telling you this? Well, you wanna be in that first batch of applicants because, um, you know, recruiters typically are going to move quickly. So once we have found the slate of candidates that are really strong and the hiring team wants to move forward with those candidates, most likely one of those candidates is going to be hired and we're not really looking anymore. So you want to be in that first batch of applicants. I generally say you want to be in the first 50 applicants if it's only one opportunity available and definitely within the first 100 applicants if there are multiple openings available. And you know, think about it. If you're going to the grocery store and you need to find one apple, right? You want to get the best looking apple. Well, you're going to go into the apple section, you're going to look at what's available at the top, and you're going to pick an apple that looks good. At least that's my process. <laughs> and um, you're not going to like dig through the whole pile of apples, of course. You're not going to wait around for the uh, produce guy to bring more apples. You're going to pick at what's available. As soon as you see something really good, you're going to go for it. Now, of course, we do have scenarios where it's a really challenging position and so the job will be open longer and, you know, we do vet more candidates. But in most cases, like if you're applying to maybe a manager position or customer service job or whatever, in most cases, you know, the job will be filled within about 30 to 45 days. So, and you just want to be in that first batch of applicants definitely do not procrastinate. <laughs> Please don't procrastinate. Um, I want you to succeed in your job search and that is one of the things that you can do to help your chances of being selected um, for a phone interview or you know, virtual interview or what have you that can get you closer to gaining that job. So that's all I got for this video. Just wanted to send out a quick message that I was thinking about and um, if you like this type of content, definitely subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.